हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो अंडर काइनेटिक्स एंड वर्क पावर एनर्जी विल हैव टू सी सम डेफिनेशंस फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन इज मोमेंटम मोमेंटम सो व्हाट इज मोमेंटम द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मास एंड वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एज मोमेंटम momentum is a vector quantity we know that vector quantity means it has magnitude as well as direction in vector form we will write down equation for the momentum p is the momentum equals to as we have seen the definition of momentum that is product of mass and velocity of the body so m is the mass of the body and v is the velocity so v is the vector therefore momentum is the vector quantity its unit is kg meter per second and the dimension r m raised to power 1 l raised to power 1 and t raised to power 1 next definition is impulse impulse is defined as the product of average force and time for which the force is acts consider the impulsive force f bar this is the impulsive force acting on a body of mass m for a short time t because of this impulsive force the velocity of the body changes from initial velocity to the final velocity so because of this impulsive force velocity of the body changes from initial velocity to the final velocity then according to the newton's second law this impulsive force equals to p2 minus p1 by t so impulsive force f equals to the p2 minus p1 by t what is p2 and p1 now p1 is initial momentum and this is equals to the mass multiplied by initial velocity p2 equals to final momentum final momentum and this is equals to the mass of the body multiplied by final velocity therefore we can write here impulsive force multiplied by time t equals to p2 minus p1 so what does this equation means impulse received during the impact is equals to the change in momentum of the body therefore we can write here f into t that is impulsive force mass multiplied by v bar minus mass multiplied by u bar so this is the change in momentum when impulse is impact on the body impulse is a vector quantity its unit is 
kg meter per second and the dimensions are m raised to 1 l raised to 1 and t raised to 1 minus 1 now we will see the newton's laws of motion newton's laws of motion so let us discuss the newton's first law of motion every body continuous to be in a state of rest or of uniform motion along the straight line unless it is acted upon by a external unbalanced force this is the newton's first law of motion what does it mean if sum of all forces on a given body is f bar so f bar is the sum of all forces acting on a particle and its acceleration is a bar now we will write down above statement in a equation therefore acceleration a bar equals to 0 if and only if force is zero so what does a zero means a zero means particle is unaccelerated when force is acting over a body particle may accelerate or unaccelerate but external force acting on the body is zero that means particle is unaccelerated otherwise if particle is unaccelerated that means the force acting on external force acting on the body is zero so this is the meaning of above statement that is newton's first law of motion so let us discuss the newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion statement the rate of change of linear momentum of a body is directly proportional to the external unbalanced force applied on it and takes place in a direction of forces so rate of change of linear momentum so we know that linear momentum is the product of mass and velocity of a body is directly proportional to the external unbalanced force applied on it and takes place in a direction of force let p1 equals to mass multiplied by u1 is the initial linear momentum initial linear momentum p2 equals to m into v bar final linear momentum so newton's second law of motion its statement is the rate of change of linear momentum of a body is directly proportional to the external unbalanced force applied on it and takes place in a direction of the force let p1 is equals to m into u that is initial linear momentum where m is the mass u is the linear velocity p2 equals to m into v in final linear momentum where v bar is the final velocity m is the mass of mass of the body then according to the newtons according to the statements i will write here p2 minus p1 divided by t is directly proportional to the applied force f now rearranging this equation f dash equals to we will replace this proportionality sign by a constant k p2 bar minus p1 bar by t 
Now this constant of proportionality k is 1 when the momentum unit of momentum is kg meter per second and unit of force is Newton. Then we can replace this proportionality constant k equals to 1. So further we can write here f bar equals to P2 minus P1 by T. Therefore, what is P2? Is the final linear momentum which is equals to mass multiplied by velocity. What is P1? Initial linear momentum. It is mass multiplied by initial velocity minus mu by T. So, here mass is constant so mass common what we are getting v bar minus u bar by t so this term is nothing but acceleration of the body therefore i will write this i will replace this bracket that is v bar minus u bar by t equals to acceleration therefore I am getting here F bar equals to M V bar minus U bar by T. So as we know that this bracket is the acceleration of the body. Therefore, I am getting F bar equals to M into A. This is the Newton's second law of motion. So continuing what with the Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law of motion. So, do you know Newton's third law of motion? Yes. To every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. So, here to every action there is always an equal and opposite reaction. So this is the uh, Newton's third law of motion. So coming to the uh, application of the Newton's law, so we have to study one topic that is recoiling of the gun recoiling of gun so this is an application of newton's law of motion we know that when bullet fired from the gun the gun recoils the bullet and the gun move in exactly opposite direction. In this case, the linear momentum of gun equals to linear momentum of the bullet. Let M1 equals to mass of bullet. M2 equals to mass of gun v1 equals to v1 bar because velocity is a vector quantity velocity of bullet v2 is v2 bar vector quantity again velocity of gun now we will study before firing the gun and after firing the gun. So before firing, the gun and bullet are at the rest position. Hence, total linear momentum is zero. Before firing, the gun and bullet are at rest position. Hence, total linear momentum is zero. The total linear momentum after firing is given by the relation total 
linear momentum is given by m1 v1 bar plus m2 v2 bar now using the conservation of linear momentum equation we know that by using conservation of linear momentum zero equals to this m1 v1 bar plus m2 v2 bar now here therefore m2 v2 bar equals to m1 v1 bar this is negative so velocity v2 equals to m1 by m2 minus v1 bar as we can see over here v2 is velocity of gun v1 is velocity of bullet and m1 m2 are the mass of gun and bullet so the negative sign that is this negative sign indicate that the velocity of gun is is negative or is in opposite direction as we know that mass of gun m is greater than mass of the bullet similarly velocity of the gun is less than velocity of the bullet that is it is so much less we can say that it is recoil velocity is very very small compared to the velocity of bullet thank you